Hi, this is Nicholas Casimir, and I'm here with the director of Eastern Boys. First of all, let's talk about what the film is about. Uh, the film is about a um, uh, guy who is like in uh, his early 50s and is uh, living by himself in a big uh, apartment. And uh, once I, he doesn't know why, he decides to approach uh, some uh, young guys from Eastern Europe who are around a uh, railway station. And uh, the, he, he, he likes a guy called Marek and he meets this guy and he asks him to. Uh, he wants to have sex with him and the, the young guys say okay but I want to go to your home and um, finally Daniel the, the French guy accepts to receive this guy and uh, in fact it's a kind of trap uh, which is at the same time like a chance for the main character. Where does the idea for the film come from? Uh, different sources. First of, uh, first of all it's like a, a personal experience. I went to a, a dinner uh, with a, a French, in a French guy house uh, who were living in uh, a few years ago in uh, Russia, in Moscow. And uh, we knew a long time ago he had a boyfriend. But at, there was a guy uh, like uh, 30 years old. We suppose it was, it was uh, his boyfriend, but uh, it turned out that he adopted him. <laughs> A few years ago, and uh, so it's based on a real situation. Or uh, a man had sex with a young guy, and they find out that it was not the kind of relationship they wanted, and uh, uh, so they developed a kind of uh, father-child relationship, and it, they he adopted uh, this guy, and uh, I thought that was weird at the first time, and. I think I do films to understand this kind of situation. So I, I worked on that and it reminds me of a time uh, where uh, the French philosopher Michel Foucault was talking about when there was no civil pa partnership or marriage or this kind of thing. And when there was a, lo a strong difference of age between lovers or social differences, you know. Uh, um, so Michel Foucault suggests to adopt your boyfriend, like because for a question of money or this kind of thing. And uh, I thought that was making sense in a way with the story uh, I, uh, I uh, knew. And at the same time, I, was, uh, I, uh, uh, I knew there was uh, some kind of prostitution with Eastern boys, a guy, uh, Eastern boys from uh, in uh, the station I, uh, I shot. And uh, I knew that there was doing because I have a, a friend who was doing um, uh, sociologic work about them and uh, she told me that they were blackmailing guys because they were like 20 and they that was always the same trap and that was so interesting they were saying they were kind of make they make believe they were prostitute but in fact it was just to go around with the guy and at the end say to him but you know I'm not uh, I'm a uh, minor, I'm uh, not, uh, I'm, I don't have my majority, it's a crime, and so give me your money and give me your credit card or this kind of thing. And at first that was clever, in fact, yeah. dangerous but clever. And uh, so it was a mix, a mix of, uh, of all that that created the film, I think. I, we won't go into the narrative of the film, but there's a big party, a big debauch party that happens when uh, at this man's apartment, which reminded me of the Bunuel film, of, of uh, like the debauched. Yeah everything is ripped out of this man's apartment his every you know yeah. but he feels like he can't even go to the police yeah. even though he's not uh, ashamed of his sexuality yeah. he seems to be ashamed of the idea of soliciting um, somebody for sex yes and especially because he's uh, uh, he can be uh, prosecuted for pedophilia you know and it's a, such a strong now uh, uh, crime that, you know, that's he cannot is unable to have a reaction and at the same time I was interested by the idea that this uh, because all the guys who co come to his house uh, make a party and he, for him it's like Christmas because at the same time it's, fr it's threatening but it's like he had all those quite naked guys dancing in his uh, so like it's like a dream it's a part a nightmare part a dream and it's for him it's a 
uh, and I love the idea of the, the, um, the contradiction in his mind, you know. I, I don't know if you identify as a queer filmmaker, they just say, I'm just a filmmaker. Like Xavier Dolan, for example, who I just interviewed, who, yeah. who, who just did Tom at the Farm, you know, he's like, well, I, I, I don't see my films as a queer film. But, you know, some people would argue that's, no, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, uh, yes, of course, but I, I feel I'm not doing my first film or not ex precisely a, a gay film, but I feel I feel like I'm a queer di director more. I don't know. That's why uh, it's not. Uh, that's why it's not easy to answer this question. But I think we. Uh, it's it's wrong not, not to think there's a, a specific point of view. I, I, I I'm sure there's something. It's fascinating. It's yeah. fascinating. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.